Hey guys, this is Rohit. So I'm back with a new tutorial of Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to share a new design with you guys. It is basically a landing page. I will show the complete steps to design that. Also, I will be sharing that how you can convert that landing page into a real-time website. Let's get started. Guys, this is a tutorial of first fold of landing page. If you guys want complete tutorial, just do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely make a video of it. So here is the design itself. First, I will show you that how you can design this design in Photoshop. So here is the final output of the project. After that, we are going to convert this to a real-time website with the help of WordPress and the Elementor plugin. So this is how it would look like after converting it to the real-time website. I'm leaving the link in the description. You can check this template. All right, guys, let's get into the tutorial. Guys, for this tutorial, I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop 2020, but you can use any version. For this project, I'm taking the canvas of 1920 by 1080. So let's go to the file, click on new, set width to 1920 and height would be 1080 and resolution would be 300. Click on create. I'm cancelling this because I already created it. As you can see these two green color square, this is a color palette which I created. It means we will going to use these two colors in our project. The first thing which we are adding is a logo. Every person or company has their own unique logo. So I'm using this dummy logo. Let's drag it to the project canvas with the help of move tool. Resize it by pressing Ctrl or Command T to transform. Then make it smaller. Perfect. Now we will add navigation bar. Select text tool. I'm using Mont Serrat font for this. Font weight is extra bold and size 20 point for now. We will adjust it later. And type navigation items. Let's say home, portfolio, uh, about us, contact us, and blog. And make font size to five point. Then select move tool and align it. Now again select the text tool and change the color to black. Let's add more spaces in between the navigation item. Guys, I'm simply pressing the space button to add spaces. Now we will add a bar below the navigation item to show the active tab. Guys, it means it will show that which tab is active. Now right click on the shape tool, then click rounded rectangle. Make sure radius should be 100 pixel and color should be black and create a bar like this. Perfect. Close this tab. Now again right click on the tool and click on the custom shape tool. Guys you can use any shape to experiment in your design. I advise you to experiment as much as you can with your design so that you can learn more and explore more with your creativity. So I'm using this blob shape and draw a shape like this. and select the move tool to align it properly yes this is fine now right click on the layer go to blending option click on gradient overlay oops not color overlay click on gradient overlay now we will use our color palette here for the primary color, use this color. Here's its hex code. And for secondary color, use this one. Here it's code. Now click OK. So now we will add heading, subheading and button. So to add, select text tool. For a heading and subheading, I'm using the dummy text. 
copy the text for headline draw a box for heading paste the text then press ctrl a to select the text and make it align to left now open the corrector toolbar guys in case if you are not having this bar then click on the windows and select corrector so now make text uppercase and text size to 6 point and line height to 11 point now click ok now let's copy dummy text for subheading again draw a box paste the text press ctrl a to select the text and make the text lowercase by unchecking the same option change font weight to regular and font size to about 4 point and line height to 8 point click ok now it's time to design a button guys i love rounded edges button so i'm going to use that same right click on the shape tool select rounded rectangle tool radius should be 100 pixel again and draw a shape like this and select the text tool to write the text for button let's write no more select move tool and move the text to the button and again select the text tool to make the text white and align it center so guys here i'm going to share one advice with you to make your project more easier and organized your layers organization plays a big role so make sure that your every layer is organized in tutorial i may not organize the layers well or give the name to the layer but you should definitely do that because it is a one sign of professional work so here i'm giving you one example i'm going to organize our heading subheading and button layer by grouping it select the layer and press ctrl or command g to group the layer now you can easily vertically center the whole group okay so now i'm placing the object i colored the shoe in a way that you can easily change color in the future guys if you want a video tutorial on this just leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification select the whole group and drag it to the project canvas with the help of move tool press ctrl or command t to resize the group and place it like this To change the color of the shoe, just double click on the red color area, you will get the color picker. Here I am using green color from the palette. Click OK. Let's name this group as shoe. Now we will add a shadow to the shoe to give a floating effect. Create a new layer just below it. Right click on the shape tool and select ellipse tool and make a oval like this then go to the filter and select gaussian blur click convert to smart object make radius to 50 and click ok press ctrl t and tilt it a little bit so here is the final product in the next video i will be converting this photoshop design to a real time website also if you want me to complete this design with full home page then let me know in the comment section so guys thank you for watching if you like this video hit like button share with your friends if you have any question you can leave the comment i will definitely try to reply them all 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the instant notification see you in the next one till then keep designing